Hey guys, it's Shannon and Harry Potter Paul <laughs> and welcome to the Collector Corner. That's right. We're today we're opening up figures of Paul. <laughs> Just kidding, we're opening up the Harry Potter Wizarding World figures by Pop Mart. So these are pretty awesome. Now I am the unboxer who lived. <laughs> I did not count. So let's see, Harry Potter's not on the back there. So there are 13 different figures to collect including the secret. Yep. Now, I do want to tell you a couple things right off the bat. Number one, we purchased these. You cannot buy these, I don't believe. Do they ship to the U.S.? I think these might have. Do they ship? I okay. Think, I think these may have. Well, I want to let you know that we do have an affiliate link and a coupon code in the description box where you can order from Pop Mart directly and get some of their cool stuff. Not everything ships to the U.S., so we actually have a third-party person overseas that we buy from a lot, too. Um, but yeah, there Ooh. is that there. So what? Third party person, Paul. Third party Paul. I did want to point that out because I saw a few comments, like you can see this box is crushed a little bit and people have said that they were just really upset and we should not accept such poor figures and whatnot. Pop Nart, blah, 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 Pop Mart is not sending those. Those are coming from just a private person yep. that we purchased from. So I did just want to make that clear because there have been some comments about just that. Throwing it in a saran wrap bag, slapping a label on it. Pretty and much. Off it comes. But having goes. said that, nothing has ever arrived broken. Yeah, we've never had a broken figure. But I did want to point it out because people yep. were saying that that was wrong. But, you know, when you buy just from a private individual, yep. you get what you get. Yep. Smart Shannon, third party Paul. <laughs> Okay, all so right. now that we've got woo, all that out of the way, okay. these figures are heavy. They are. I am hoping that I get Lord Voldemort. Okay. Oh, I said his name. I said his name. You shouldn't say his name. Don't say his name, Paul. She can get the card out for us. Oh, you have a good one. <laughs> oh, I have Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy! I love it! It's so fluffy. They're so mean. You just might die. They're so awesome. <laughs> yep, it's like a three-headed mastiff. <laughs> he's awesome. Look, I like the big shaggy tail. I like that the middle one's like salivating. Yeah, he's salivating, <laughs> drooling. Uh, each one has a different amount of teeth showing. I like uh, that. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, they all have like the furrowed eyebrows. Yeah. Makes them look mean, but it's actually a very nice doggy. You just want to rub that little wrinkly spot. Yep. <laughs> yep, I actually had this... this thing happened. It wasn't a three-headed dog. It was two <laughs> Mastiffs that cornered me in a garage one time. And um, ate the package he was trying to deliver. Yeah, I worked for UPS and they just show I was in somebody's garage. They showed up while I was in there and cornered me. And <laughs> I was like, this could be really bad. <laughs> he was supposed to be in the garage. The person yes. had a note to deliver there. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering. But. Yeah. Dogs were super nice, but it was just one of those moments <laughs> where I'm like, oh, this could get really bad. Aren't they the ones that ate his package, though? They yeah. took the envelope and uh -huh. ran away with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so with these, you get a collector card. There it is. Fluffy. So just so you guys know, do not feel too bad for this person. They had a Lamborghini and two Hummer, H1 Hummers, in this garage. The garage was like a six-car garage. That has nothing to do with anything. The guy could. The guy was probably okay with a package getting here. <laughs> he was covered. Who do I have here? I have Dobby. Dobby. Little it's like, Dobby. It's like baby Dobby. Yeah, it kind of looks like Piglet Dobby, Dobby from kinda Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, it kind of does. Okay, so Dobby is wearing a cute little gown here that I have actually, back in the day, pre, you know, 2020, um, we live in an area with a lot of colleges, and at the mall you would see people rushing different colleges coming in like toga outfits at the mall. <laughs> so that's what this Dobby reminds me of. Yeah. He's really cute, yep. though. I like him. Little house elf sack. Yeah. There's that card. Next up. <laughs> oh, I have serious black. He's awesome. I love his hair and goatee. Yeah, it's funny, like nothing on him is black. Get his name serious black. Yep, his hair and goatee is awesome. He's got the <laughs> Cool little mustache, goatee. He's got wavy hair. He does. He could he could do like a hair commercial. He could. Yep. You may think that I spend a lot of time with my hair, but I don't. I just jump in and out of the Azkaban showers, and I come out looking like this. If you use conditioner, you could too. 
Oh my gosh, you make him sound like somebody uh, from a movie. Who? I don't know. What He's movie? reminding me. N- not Harry Potter. Not Harry a Potter? A different movie. Or he could be like, hey y'all, you <laughs> might think that my hair looks <laughs> like this natural. That's not how he talks. But I just jump in and out of the Azkaban showers and I come out looking just like this. Y'all remember to vote for me in the Texas election. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> It's like the world's worst Matthew McConaughey impression, but, All right. but I had fun with it. Serious Black. So good looking, I just can't stand it. Paul is not serious at all, as you can tell. Woo! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we have a, a hint as to who we have. Hopefully that's the first one that had accessories, because we have not I been think it is. checking. So I have Harry Potter. Yes, you do. And I was checking the bag to make sure there weren't any accessories. Harry Potter with Hedwig. He has a little Hedwig. He does How cute is that? Wow, Hedwig is not even pure white. Hedwig gets kind of yellowish down toward the bottom. So he's like multiple colors, or she, he. I'm getting that totally wrong. I don't know. Hedwig is multiple colors, which is cool because that's more like a real owl. Yes. Um, well, color Hedwig. And Harry Potter has a wand. Yep. There's the wand. There's Hedwig. Love the glasses. That's so a great cute. looking figure. That is a great figure. Mm, there's the card. Also great looking. Oh, I have Professor McGonagall. <laughs> oh, she looks great. Okay, I like her little hat. It is all like uh, bent over and wrinkly at the top. She has her cat, which I can't remember the cat's name, but her kitty cat right there, familiar, is awesome. I like the green coat. She's a great looking figure and she's got glasses too. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Professor McGonagall. She has a kitty. She does have a kitty. That would be me. I would yeah. wear a witch hat, the glasses, and have a kitty. Just saying. We can make all that happen Uh-oh. later today. I have another accessory. I'm going to pass it over to Paul. Oh, wow. He's really cool. Yep, you have Remus Lupin. He has a very fancy mustache. He does. Very pointy. It is. So, oh, I almost dropped him. He has fancy hair, too. I like these. These are funny because they're all in the sitting position versus standing. Like, the the cloaks and capes and shirts that they're wearing are all kind of, like, flared out. It's just funny. Yes. And then he has a little wolf. Yep. Look. <laughs> little feet prints. Little paw prints. Oh, that's oh, I cute. I love them. That is really cute. I love that that's one. That's an awesome figure. Now, Remus Lupin is a werewolf, so I'm, I, can't, I can't remember... If he has the wolf as a familiar, or if that's him in wolf form. I wouldn't think they would include that as an accessory if that was supposed to be... Yeah, I think I think that's a familiar. Because I think him in wolf form is a whole different looking thing. Next. Okay, we have an accessory in that bag. We have Draco Malfoy. Awesome. Draco so he's awesome looking. He's in his little maroon pants, his uh, gray jacket, Slytherin colored scarf. I like the little smirk on his face. <laughs> and then of course he has a wand as well. There's Draco. Nice. Very cute. There's Draco's card. Okay. So I was looking it up to see. So Hedwig is a female, but I think it's hilarious because they said... In the movie, Hedwig's a female, but she was played by male snowy owls. Oh. Huh. And it was not just one snowy owl. There were multiple snowy, multiple owls, snowy owls that played Hedwig. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's funny that they're like, you know, she was played by male owls. Like, <laughs> I think that's pretty cute. Okay, I have... Oh, Ron. Um, he's going to have an accessory yes, maybe in is. the bag yep. still. There is. Okay, so if you purchase these, be careful because the little wands are very tiny in the bag and it would be easy to throw them away if you're yes. not careful. Luckily, the picture on the box as well as the card that you get shows the figures with wands. So it gives you kind of a hint. Oh, this is really cool. I didn't realize it with Malfoy's, but now that I'm looking, each one of their wands are different. 
on the figures, which ah, I know in the movie they are, but I didn't realize that the figures, they made them different too. So that is a really cute attention to detail. That I is, like it. That is. The, the wand chooses them. His, his orange hair is really cool looking. Yeah, I was going to say his hair is lighter on top. Yep. So it's multiple colors of orange and red. Because he used orange Kool-Aid on top and <laughs> like Maybe he did. a mixture of orange and red on the bottom. Maybe. A couple more boxes each. I have your accessories. Okay. All right. Cool. So we have Hermione. She does have some accessories. She's great looking. She has the maroon pants and the black uh, coat and the Gryffindor colors. She <laughs> has her own unique wand, which kind of looks like unicorn horn. She's really cute. And then her hair has that, uh, you know, ombre coloring also. And? Very pretty. She has a cat. Yep. Oh, Meow. it's Crookshanks. Jack. That's Crookshanks. No, it's Jack. It does look like Jack. It's our little orange Jack. Yeah. That looks just like Jack. Without stripes. And there with white feet. Whatever. It looks just like Jack. <laughs> <Okay>. All right. <laughs> there is the card for Hermione. And we're almost out of room yep. to display all these. This always happens with the uh, Pop Mart. Yeah, they're just they're, a, little bit, a little bit wide. They're nice size figures, so they, they take up more space. You could move Hedwig. There. I could. Okay. Oh. Dumbledore. Dumbledore! He's gonna have an accessory too. Yep. He has purple metallic shiny glasses. He is fashionable. He is. So there he is with his purple cloak and purple shoes and purple glasses. Yep, and his Shriner's hat. And a blue hat, yes. <laughs> He's gonna get to ride one of the little tiny motorcycles in the parade. Ah, good to know. He has a really big wand compared to the other ones and it is multiple colors too. Multicolored. There we go. Wow. That is an awesome figure. That Sorry, is never an mind awesome the, figure. the cat <laughs> hair on there. Jack's not even in the studio, and yet he's still with us. Okay, so Dumbledore. Great looking figure. Yep. There's the card. Okay, this is going to be my last figure of the video. We need the secret. We need the secret. We We're need... also missing Hagrid and Lord Voldemort. Okay. So I'm hoping we get Voldemort and the secret. Okay, my hopes are still alive. <laughs> so we have an accessory there. Wow, he's really awesome. He comes like all wrapped in plastic. None of the other ones did. Okay. Oh, wow. This is an incredible looking figure. He's creepy. Yeah, so he look, his head looks like a honeydew melon. It does. Yep, he has like all um, he has like his mouth and his nose are like one and the same, which is kind of weird because well, not weird, but that's kind of how it is in the movies. Um, looks like he has no nose. He has the like bone wand, and then here is the snake, which is Nagini, I think. I think that's right. So Nagini the snake. I like his shoes. Also, it they sounds are, like a type of pasta. They're black. That go to green. Nagini does sound like a type of pasta. Yeah. I'm gonna have some Nagini and clam sauce. Yeah. That's what the chef recommends today. Sounds good. Oh, he's awesome looking. I also like his his black coat is very flowy. Yep. It's a good thing these guys are wearing pants. That'd be <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is Lord Voldemort's card. So the last one, I'm either going to have Hagrid or the secret. Yep. So I think I know who the secret is. I'll, I'll say at the end of the video. I'm just going to make a guess if you don't get it. Okay. Um, but that, I really wish it was somebody else. Let's see. I have Hagrid. Um, there may be something in that bag. I'm not sure. I don't think there is. You do okay. have an accessory right here. Here's Hagrid. He's so happy and cheerful. He is. His coat is really awesome. I like the color of it. Yep. And he just looks like he ate a nice big meal and is very satisfied. He has his hands on his belly. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. <laughs> and he has... Buckbeak. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it reminds me of uh, this figure particularly, not the character, but this figure right here reminds me of a My Little Pony. Like it should be in the My Little Pony realm. <laughs> Gilda the Griffin? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That's not how Gilda flies. How does she go? <laughs> for you long... Oh no, wait, that would be for PS Toy Reviews. I'm on the wrong channel. That's okay. Long, long time, Gilda yep. the Griffin. Yep. <laughs> that, anyway. That was back from Series 8, My Little Pony, just just so you know. I know, and that was like yeah. six years ago or something? Oh, easily. Seven years yeah. ago? We've been doing this a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Hagrid, let's see. Do we have room? Kind of. Yep. Scoot over, Dumbledore. All right, so looking at who we do have in the Harry Potter wizarding world and looking at the silhouette of the secret, I'm going to guess the secret is probably Snape. Oh, yeah, they should have made Snape. So he's a major figure that they didn't make. Yeah. Now, the figure that I was hoping it would be, like, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, it's Snape. And I just thought about it as we were opening, and I saw some of these other just awesome figures. I really wish it was Bellatrix. Yeah. Bellatrix was Or Luna Lovegood. She would have been oh, fun, she too. she would have been great. Yeah. Maybe they'll make another series. Well, I hope they do, because I want a Moaning Myrtle figure yeah. also. Maybe they'll make another one. Yeah, that'd be cool. And a nearly headless Ned. <laughs> okay, all right, how about you? So we got to pick favorites. We do have to pick favorites. What's your favorite? Paul was going to say, how about you? Yeah, what's your favorite? I have to go with Professor McGonagall. Okay, Professor McGonagall right there. Yep. You got the lap, kitty. Yep. Oh, this is so difficult. It is difficult because each one of them are awesome. Oh, huh. let me think here. I think I've got to go... Who's it going to be? I don't know. I'm going to go with Professor Lupin. Remus Ooh, Lupin. Cause I really professors. I really like the wolf. How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That'll make you part of the Collector Corner Club where there's a whole bunch of Harry Potter people we want in Pop Mart figures. So make another series. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.